uh, everyone. Um, I will try to present you some, is some issues connected with the old-fashioned uh, word smart, composite structures uh, with embedded sensors. Okay, so um, the, the composite structures in, in our understanding, this is the polymer-based epoxy resin structures, which are nowadays used uh, in many, many applications. Uh, so you can see them on the aircrafts. You can see them uh, quite more and more often in the automotive industry, and uh, you can uh, you can see them in the. Um, okay, so we can go to the next. Um, the composite is a mixture, simply mixture of uh, two different materials with different properties, and uh, in most uh, of the structures, the polymer epoxy based uh, composites, we use the reinforcements and matrix. So this is the the two materials or two elements which gives us the final product as a composite. Um, they are made mostly with the reinforcement uh, named as a carbon or glass. In many, many design applications you can see the carbon based uh, composites for the decoration of the interiors as well, but they have very good uh, strength properties. Um, another issue, there are sandwich or the honeycomb structures, which you can find them uh, in many, many uh, aerospace applications for the control uh, surface and elements, but even in the doors, inside the doors. So um, we, as the Air Force Institute of Technology, we are R&D institution, but we have a large background of the commercial inspections, commercial works connected with the delivery of the modern diagnostics methods to the aerospace community, but not only aerospace community. Okay, and the mixture of those two laminar and sandwich structures you may find, for instance, in the helicopter main rotor blades. They are composed of <coughs> such structures. Okay, composites are everywhere, even now in this very room, like in metrics, because the composites compose of matrix and the reinforcements. So you can find them in the energy industry, you can find them in the modern, specially, uh, sports car, race cars, the Formula One, the bicycles are more and more often used of the composites. Why? Because it's lightweight. It's much more lightweight than the aluminum alloy, quite durable. And one of the most uh, advantages of the used composites, you can see, you can uh, model the shape as you want. So it gives you a, a possibility to create uh, the new designs, new styles. And the energy, especially renewables, I don't know if you know, but the longest bridge in the Europe has been made in the polymer-based composites made from carbon fiber and the glass fiber in the Podkarpatskia region. So you can find this in some materials. Okay, but getting back to the aerospace community. Uh, the composites are lightweight, they are corrosion resistant, they are durable, but you can... Uh, probably cannot imagine that they are really, really very much uh, likely uh, uh, addicted to uh, damages from the impacts, which means that if you have the impact on the aluminum, you can see it as a damp. You cannot see that on the composite, but it's really create the mess inside the structure. And as you can see from this report, the the cost of the repairs of the composite structures is pretty, pretty large for the one airliner in the US market. So it is a challenge. How to repair it and how to avoid it and especially how to detect it because we cannot see, uh, in, in many cases we cannot see that damages. Why I will show you later. And the another application. So we can see the composites in the energy. We can, uh, we can have them in the pipelines. We can use the composite bonded repairs in the pipelines and the renewables. This is something which uh, develops very, very much in the European and, and worldwide market. But you have to remember the blades and some of the nacelle, as well as the uh, other elements, are made from the polymer based composites. And the another issue that few elements of the planes and the recently uh, Boeing 787 or Airbus 3550 are made from 50% of the composites, carbon composites. And this is the example of the uh, accident of the Airbus uh, 319. 
a couple of years ago due to excessive forces on the vertical tail. If the proper damage detection has been implemented, probably the people would find the damage which create the final, the final catastrophic failure and all people die. Uh, why smart? Because in uh, the, the, the last few years, the people have focused to build the self-sensing capability structures. So the engineers, bright idea is to design something like a human body with the nervous system, which gives you the information, in our case, about the pain, in the case of the structure, about some problems with the damage. So, and then we have different faults, uh, detection and, um, uh, and uh, identification levels for, uh, for that structures. One of the implementation ideas are unmanned aerial vehicles. They are more and more used and they are uh, bigger and bigger, especially those for the purpose applications. Here you have the slide from the NASA modified unmanned preda predator ver version B. And as you can see, uh, it has been implemented with self-sensing self sensors. Why? Because normally the pilot in the aircraft or the driver in the car have got a lot of self-sensing capabilities. We can see what happened, we can feel the vibration, we can smell the fire and any other issues. So we are the best sensing technology. But if we have unmanned, we have to replace it. And um, another issue, if we inspect the wind turbine blades, it looks like that from the top, but try this on the offshore, which is more and more popular. How many days are quite calm, calm on the offshore to do the inspection, but you have to do the inspection because this is vulnerable to the damage. Okay, and what is that problem with the impact, as I mentioned to you before? You, can, you cannot see that from the top, but look, like, uh, look on the structure. This is the cross-section of the composite structure, how it looks like inside. Uh, quite bad, because we have multiple damages lo located inside the structure, and the strength of this structure rapidly decreases. So... The, the, our idea and the, the other teams in the world as well is to develop the system which can monitor, which can give you the information that something happened when the structure, in the structure, where it is, is it developed, does it have a critical size or not? And um, we try to develop that system on the basis of wing structure. This is the wing prototype for unmanned area vehicle. And uh, within the next few months, we would like to implement to put it on the real unmanned aerial vehicle in collaboration with the Politecnico di Milano as also as with some manufacturers of the helicopters you would like to make a real test on the real unmanned aerial vehicle so I hope it to show you in the future and um, how the system works for the engineer sends the information where the damage is and then he can assess in this uh, maintenance, maintenance center does it have a critical size or not and the further perspectives is still connected with the development of that technology. We use this technology in the real aircrafts right now, uh, those one used in the armed forces for the loads monitoring. But the next step is to implement for the damage detection uh, monitoring. And we are looking also for the other applications. Right now we have quite interesting talks with the uh, bicycles manufacturer to implement some of these sensors for the frame, for the special tasks for the special races. And we look also for other sensing techniques and the hardware development and miniaturization. Thank you very much, much. I hope I consumed my time.